So we are heading up to the Blue Ridge Mountains, uh, specifically the Peaks of Otter Lodge, and for our fourth annual meetup. And we're doing things a little different today, or this trip. And yeah. That is? Yeah, I feel a little, a little guilty. <laughs> we're gonna. And she should be. But. <laughs> we're gonna drive uh, two vehicles, the Spider and my SUV. I'm just um, having issues with my neck and can't uh, handle long rides. I mean, I'm okay for a little short jaunts here and there. But, uh, so it feels weird not riding together. And personally, it's like a miniature reenactment of long way down, long way round. I'm on the spider and Miriam is my support vehicle I've with been David. I've demoted to support and... <laughs> vehicle. Oh, well, yes. So. Spider Wayne will be able to understand. Yes, well, <laughs> good news is if we have rain, we can still get around and stay dry in the SUV. Yeah, it's I may good. like this. It's looking good. I think we're going to have a great weekend. Yeah, temperature right now is maybe in the low 70s, a little humid, but it feels good. Yeah, it's going to be a good ride day for you. All right, let's get on the road. Okay. Be safe. It feels strange to be solo and no trailer. Our route up to the Peaks of Otter would be generally along US 460 with a cutoff on State Route 40 which bypasses the town of Petersburg and keeps us on rural back roads the way we like it. things I like about Route 40 is it crosses US 1, the easternmost north-south roadway. It goes into Maine and ends at literally a stone's throw across a bridge from Canada. In the end, it goes to Key West, all the way to the bottom of the southernmost point of the United States. One of these days, I want to take that road from start to finish. That'd be a great drive. The little town of Blackstone, Virginia. There's some memories in this town. This used to be our route when we would uh, go to the western part of the state and visit family. And specifically, we may have already passed it. A little diner. There you go, Farmer's Cafe. It has been under different names over the years. It is a uh, same floor plan, same booths, same everything. Just a little tiny cafe restaurant, and they make some pretty good food there. So we stopped at the McDonald's to uh, utilize the facilities uh, back in Blackstone and Miriam and I had a conversation about lunch. It's uh, too early to eat lunch here. So my breakfast of uh, grits and Spam is still holding on and it's only about 11.30. We're going to wait till we get to uh, Appomattox Courthouse. So we're going to stop in there for a little bit to eat. It's still uh, probably about within the hour. Also going to need some gas. We wound up having lunch at Granny B's restaurant downtown Appomattox, Virginia. Places like this generally don't exist anymore. Really good home cooking style food that tastes great and the staff and the other customers are very friendly. And you had an opinion on the cornbread here? Oh my gosh, it's the most delicious cornbread I've ever had in a restaurant. It rivals my grandmother's and that's really saying something. Today is a uh, anniversary of several events uh, we need to uh, make note of here and uh, celebrate. Uh, the first one in uh, the year was 1960. I am dying. A, uh, a baby girl was born in a Navy hospital in Corpus Christi, Texas. Uh, her father was a Army aviator, and uh, there was a there was a certificate awarded for the first 
birth to an arm. Well, her dad didn't give birth, her mom did. Uh, an army aviator's daughter was born in a navy in a navy hospital. Uh, that was Mary. So today is her birthday, and uh, so we are on our trip. And uh, I'm glad she was born. Changed my life a little bit. The second, uh, nine years ago today, it was a Saturday, we were out running errands and the concept of the Can-Am Spider had just entered our consciousness. Uh, we were researching the possibility of uh, unique uh, travel opportunities and we were running errands and we had just finished our, our last errand and I said, well, are we going back home? And Miriam said, why don't we go to Chesapeake to that dealership and look at those Can-Am Spiders? Well, and the rest was just. Hmm. So this morning I've only had one cup of coffee. And that didn't quite do it. You know, and often I will bring a, uh, a longer trip, a little thermos that I can uh, put hot coffee in and swap out my water bottle and have that and sip my coffee. I didn't bring it this time. And I wanted a cup of coffee and I can't actually drink a full cot cup of coffee uh, from a cup uh, on the spider generally but Miriam when we stopped earlier got herself a cup of coffee to sip on and we stopped uh, uh, just a few moments ago to uh, stop in the bathroom one last time before we hit this long stretch with a few services and um, she goes uh, you want to finish my coffee and I went yeah buddy yeah. so it's almost empty but, I can finish it with some more caffeine. You know, you got to love a back road like this. I think we see an oncoming car about one, maybe every minute or so. We're in tobacco country. A lot of tobacco growing in this region. A lot of soybeans too. Tobacco is still a pretty big cash crop. Destined to make cigarettes, generally speaking. Maybe some uh, domestic chewing tobacco. You know, the irony is I am a fan of uh, good quality cigars. I, I smoke so few, so I opt for the good ones. And a good cigar, in my humble opinion, is. Uh, made with Central American tobacco. It's aged, dried, hand rolled, and aged some more. And it's an art. We successfully arrive at the Peaks of Utter Lodge, our home for the next four nights. 
we decided it was a good idea to arrive at the Peaks of Honor at a day in advance as we were hosting the event. We were joined by two other early arrivals, Ray and Linda from Ocala, Florida, and Judy and Jerry from Eflin, North Carolina. We decided to get together and to go into the town of Bedford for dinner as we prepare for the arrival of the other folks the next day. We're Judy and Jerry McCoy, and we're from Eflin, North Carolina. And we, um, Jerry rides a 2018 Spider RT Limited, and I ride a 2020 F3 Limited. And we also pull a Freedom Trailer with us. Okay, and favorite trips thus far? Uh, favorite trips, this was beautiful coming up here. It was absolutely gorgeous coming up. It was very nice riding. Um, we do take trips with our kids. Our daughter rides uh, an Indian ba um, bagger. Our son-in-law does ride, um, he rides a Harley right now, but he's looking for an Indian. And our granddaughter, we bought an Indian Scout. So, and, and then our youngest granddaughter doesn't drive yet, so she just rides with whomever she wants to ride on the back of and jumps on and we all go. But we go together as a family and um, ride out of uh, Conway, North Carolina. We ride with Rivertown Riders Riding Club and spend a lot of time with them doing charity rides and events.